Hello everybody, welcome back to Breville's Madhouse. As always, this is Zuljin. What's this? We left you a present, hope it cracks you up, shot <laughs> I've been touring the town a little bit just to see the progress everybody's made and it looks like everybody is really, really moving along. Haven't taken a chance to really check out the nether hub yet, but Iggy and Shot have been doing a lot of work down there. I've actually gotten a ton of work done on my place as well. I thought I'd give you guys a little tour this morning. And a uh, big, big, big shout out to Gabo King 13 for showing me this beautiful design for the gate that I was struggling with. I liked it so much better than the plain old fence. It just gives my place a real defined look amongst the other plots. So I'm just going to hit the button here and it opens up my double gate. And it's reversible just like that too. So thanks so much, Gobble King. <laughs> really, really like that design, man. I've been playing around with some fencing idea and just getting it like this, and I think it looks pretty good. I'm also maybe considering post caps of some sort on each one, but not real sure how that's gonna work yet. Might break it up. I've kind of tried it in here. Also defined all the entrances a little bit with the uh, the doors and added a little bit of lighting. It's still not 100% mob proof, but it's getting there. I believe they spawn on top of this stuff every once in a while, which is a little disheartening. These right here, I believe. So I'll have to do something with lighting in that matter. Maybe some more of these type fixtures. Not real sure yet, but uh, let's see who we got on the server right now. It's just C. Jenkins, which uh, he knows I'm recording, so it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, this is kind of awaiting the new blocks so I can do some different colored stairs and make some cool patterns. So you can see here it's really easy to cut into like I just came down right here and just made an entrance so it works out pretty well and it's kids coming along guys it's starting to look like a camp. Did this with the glass didn't know exactly how I liked it at first so you guys give me your opinion about that I think it's pretty cool. It does what I wanted to do. I wanted to, to emulate like a back porch, which that's exactly what it is. Contrary to popular belief, up top is going to be the living area. <laughs> this is going to be where people gather and some minor storage that I'm going to need. But for the most part, all of my uh, all of my stuff's going to be up here. I just haven't decided what kind of house design I'm going to want yet. I think I'm going to do more of a traditional house style, you know, with uh, the roofs, the vaulted ceilings, things like that, might do um, some real, real nice aesthetic stuff just to make it like, you know, not a, not a, not a real, real, real ritzy place, but, uh, you know, where I'm from, these guys with camps really go all out, you know, um, so I might just make like a real lavish camp style home, you know, like a nice bayou home, and let's see what else is new. I, uh, oh yeah, I did a boat dock. I didn't, it's still buggy because I'm not used to making them in SMP. I've played around with it in, uh, in my single player before, but it, uh, boats are really, really weird in SMP, so I'm trying to get used to that. This is Asuma's design for, uh, damageless boat dock. And really how it works is Bree was kind enough to give me some slime balls that she legitimately got and I got to use a couple of sticky pistons. So what happens when you press this button, there's a pulse lengthener here, and what happens is these sticky pistons draw back these gates, which allows the water to come in. The water picks up the boat and pushes it into that stream right there, and when that stream comes in, it brings your boat through the boat elevator right up top, gets pushed out here, and comes out in the water here. Now, two things are wrong with this. One, when I come in, I still end up taking damage. And that may just be due to the fact that I can't get a real trajectory or it kind of bugs out on these fence gates. The next thing is when I come out from up top, actually, sometimes I get stalled in here too. But when I come out from up top, I fly out of there. I usually end up hitting the bank and that breaks my boat. So I kind of got to pull back. But let's give this a trial work and I'll show y'all how buggy it really is. So. Normally you just have to press a button and you don't press anything else, but I gotta kinda steer it so water comes in, pushes me in, flipped out, and yeah, I didn't get the kind of trajectory that I wanted. Let's try that again. Okay. Water. Ah, uh, there we go. Up top and out and pull back so I don't wreck. Oh 
Oh, I made it. <laughs> so, that's how it's supposed to work, you guys. I really need to clear out a bunch of this. I don't want to take away from the integrity of the channel. So, I'm probably just going to cut this corner off here and make it to where I can steer really well. But, I'm just going to park my boat back since it's acting so buggy. It may be the connection this morning because, honestly, it took me a good little while to get out. Wow, what the heck's going on? Get off me, boat. Um... It took me a little while to actually log on to the server this morning, so I don't really, really know what's going on. What I wanted to do today is you just get this opened up, but I don't know if I'm going to keep this boat dock design. I really don't. I might make something much more simple, but it was still a cool project and I had fun making it. And I needed the experience with it because it taught me a little bit about water physics with the, uh, the SMP stuff. So, um... Coming around this way, I really think I'm going to keep this for my patio entrance. Uh, I'm definitely going to want to implement some different blocks and different stairs in here, but I need to wait for the multicolored wood and half slabs. Uh, I don't know how I want to do lighting on this stuff either. I might drop it down with fence posts from the framework. Not real sure, but what I was telling you guys about as far as the... Um, the post caps and stuff look at what I did here see how I transition all of the railing with the stairs I like the way that looks it makes it look like a joint you know and I want these to be the same way so I'm probably going to do that but that's a little bit boring to do on camera today what I think I'm gonna do is normally I said if this was gonna be a world tour but I think what I'm gonna do is just start playing around with the idea of this building here this right up top getting getting a more house style deal going at least get some walls up and stuff so I'm gonna do that with dark wood I'm almost positive since the bottom is light so we're going to need to get some trees and I'm gonna need to build a stone axe another one so I can go get some trees and replant some I've actually been harvesting a little bit back here and not replanting enough as I go so let's go ahead and hop down here and let's see what we got here I need to put back a whole bunch of stuff I don't have no chest space anymore really no chest space really need to get my ducks in a row and get some storage going but like I said I kind of need a kind of need a freaking house <laughs> to be able to put all this in let's see rid of that stone oh man I'm so full very very full I think I need some of these anyway for torches yeah because I only have 15 torches on me oh, actually no I don't and let's see can I put any of this up no let's get a few cobblestone out and I'll keep the rest of the stuff on me shouldn't be that bad I'm not going to get too too much wood so yeah, this has the uh, the mod in it to where when I hit the bottom of a tree, it kind of just breaks <laughs> and I get all the wood from it. So I'll definitely need to harvest some saplings when I uh, get to that point. But we're going to head on back here and, um, and harvest some wood. So while I do this, guys, I'm going to break for commercial for a word from our sponsors and we'll be right back. Oh my god, it goes on forever. 
Why it'd be a wiener baby? Oh my goodness. Good thing I sped this part up in the future. It's not sped up right now. I'm actually having to do this in real time. It's taking forever. At first I was afraid I was petrified. Yep, thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I'll spend so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. I was strong. I learned how to get along and now you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. Did I lay down and die? I'll skip some words. Oh well, I'll stab down my eye with a red rider from Christmas Story. Oh my god, please. This is going on way too long. My armpits are sweating. Swimming, just keep swimming like Nemo. The little fish, look at him swim with his little tiny fin. He's got a retarded fin. We don't call it that because that's politically incorrect. I like to eat chicken. I like to eat fish. Ooh, your mom's a big fat dish. <sighs> that rhymes. Oh. oh God! Finally, we made it to the flipping top. Oh my, ridiculous. All right, you guys, I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed that little snippet from a good friend of mine, Limbly. Uh, he plays on the server and he's got some real, real good material, so I'm going to be using him for commercials, no doubt. So what we have here is a little bit of the framework for my camp, and I'm going to do the housing part. And that's probably going to be two stories um, with the patio underneath as well, but this is going to be the first level and then maybe even a second level. And what I plan on doing is branching out a little bit here as well and maybe even here, although I'm not real sure, depending on how it starts to look. I want to get it to where over here on the, uh, the bayou camps and stuff, what they do is they'll, they'll typically add on and a lot of times what they'll do is let's say they'll they'll put an extension out and if it's on piers like this one is because it's off the river then we'll do it on piers as well and kind of make it level to kind of conform with the land I suppose I think that would be a good idea but the base is going to be ever expanding what I want to know from you guys is what do y'all want to see as far as the building goes would y'all rather me just do it world tour style or do you think that maybe LP style would be better? Uh, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I really like the LP style, showing you guys where what I do. But with with SMP, and I don't have any projects in mind. Usually, I'm just kind of constantly building when I grab when I get onto the server. A lot of stuff I undo. Sometimes I get interrupted. So. The recording is not nearly as structured as you might see Cobblestone Chronicles and stuff like that. So you guys just tell me what you think. I don't mind showing you what I do when I do it. But for now, ooh, for now I'm going to go for a swim. No, for now I guess I'm going to keep it um, the, uh, the LP style and kind of go from there. Most of the people on here know if I would record that, you know, it's... If they want to come do something to me, <laughs> that's fine, you know. I, uh, I'd i like you guys to be able to see some of the shenanigans that go down on these servers, especially this one. Uh, Shanks is a little slow right now due to the fact that we have Diablo 3 going on, but I think the Diablo 3 fever is starting to die down. I'm still enjoying it because I'm doing a good job at rationing my time. Uh, Minecraft is still where I let my creative juices just kind of go to town and I'm um, enjoying playing with a lot of people that I have I haven't got the chance to play with in a while for Diablo 3 a um, couple of family members and a couple of close friends in real life are now playing Diablo 3 and I'm really enjoying that um, also I have that series with Omega Rainbow with Wizards of Oz which is a co-op where we just cut up and have fun and I haven't had the chance to do a whole lot with Omega except for that so that's a lot of fun getting to know that guy uh, Omega if y'all don't know check out that I hate to plug my own show but <laughs> um, he uh, and his channel it's pretty much the same 
deal as mine except it's uh it's from his perspective and uh we just have a lot of fun guys the the gameplay is more or less a uh just a background for us to really cut up and enjoy some of the quest lines and stuff like that not so much of the grind to show you guys which uh, as Ormond had so kindly put it, is starting to become a little bit of a grind. Not for me, but that's that's the that's the the in game, you know, is is going for these these nice items and stuff like that. That's why uh, Minecraft is always going to be old faithful because it's never the same, you know. It it really isn't. Every time I get on this game, I got new ideas, and I have different backgrounds to do them in on all of my uh, all of my different shows for it you know um, breeze and shanks I get to do community stuff and and really hang out with folks and and really get some silly stuff going on uh, cobblestone chronicles I could be serious and just do these intense projects that that make everybody say ooh you know that's that's kind of I, I dig that you know but I dig all aspects of it hey guys after messing around with it a little bit I'm trying different ideas for the walls and I'm not too in love with the dark wood texture against the, the lattice type stuff I have going on it's just a little bit too dark um, the regular wood texture is pretty nice because it matches with the actual stairs and uh, it just gives me a good background to be able to do patterns with but I think doing the uh, the windows and stuff kinda like with the uh, the trap doors will look good on this texture and I can also use upside down stairs and stuff uh, for like window seals not upside down stairs regular stairs so I think that'll give me the best uh, the best look as far as that goes so I need to go upstairs and take out I also tried birch too and birch didn't do it for me I think it's just the idea of it matching and without all of the half slabs and stairs to be able to do stuff with it's really really difficult to get an idea of how I want it to look the trim is the biggest thing for me you know it really has to complement whatever the main texture is that you're using for the house I don't know that's that's at least what I try to do sometimes I'll try things and it and it doesn't look well put together but um, you may notice some sharp cuts in the video as well at times I've um, been having a little bit of trouble logging onto the server today. Seems like uh, all of Minecraft.net is kind of freaking out. Uh, it was freaking out on the other servers that I tried to log on to, and uh, and just all in all, giving me crazy lag, like I was talking about with the boat earlier in the dock. But it's saying that I'm pinging like at 0.222 ms. I don't know. I don't know how true or accurate that is but uh, really not sure but these walls should do pretty good making windows for these is gonna be interesting because they're so high off the ground so I think I'm gonna have to make some sort of makeshift scaffolding that I can use probably dirt another thing I need to do is really go for some diamonds my tools I hate using iron tools <laughs> like I'm so spoiled I hate using stone tools too the stone tools on this server I gotta be really really careful with um, but for the most part they work and the diamond is uh, I could have swore I had some diamond from the store that I had got like plenty but I don't seem to see it in any of my chest so the only thing that I can think of is that I had it on me when we were doing the whole thing with the power creepers <laughs> and I probably lost it but it's no biggie for me to go down in the mines and find some really shouldn't be a bad deal uh, the guys have mapped out a good bit of the uh, good bit of a branch mine got started and uh, lit up down there so it shouldn't be real hard to go and explore that a little bit and maybe grab some good old diamond I really can't wait for the village and trading aspects either. Um, it's going to be really, really fun to be able to collect emerald and, and everything else. I have a feeling that um, I'm going to have a good time with trading and all that, especially my single player. All in all, service seems a little slow today. 
uh, maybe a lot of the people are probably still in school. I'm not sure. If I almost hit that log, that would have been good. <laughs> uh, still not used to all these plugins on the server, but. I'm going to continue with this guys and then we're going to move on to some of the windows so stay tuned we'll be right back well you guys believe it or not I was going to bring you back to do the windows and stuff but <laughs> the rain started and it was really loud and annoying and laggy so I decided just to go with the ceiling so that it would protect us from the rain <laughs> so we can do some aesthetics works inside and some recording. I also got some ideas for uh, the outside a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is do an offset door like this and run maybe some patio on the outside. Not too sure what material I'm going to use yet. Probably just going to go with the, uh, the birch again. But... I think I'm going to do that and just do some fence around the sides for some handrail. On the back I might do a little patio as well, like a balcony. And for the windows, I think that I like the idea of fence instead. This is going to keep it real uniform and it's going to be a little more outdoorsy than the traditional glass. I think that would be a real, real cool touch. Um, let me. Uh, let me know what y'all think, you know, I really think this is gonna be different and it uh, it's uh, I don't know. It's camp like <laughs> If that's even a good adjective to use But these I'm gonna do the same thing with the door openings as I did below I'm gonna use those trap doors and for the back wall like I said, I really don't know I might do some little windows with the fence here and there for the back and the front but for the most part, I want it to be those patios and, uh, you know, we'll get some see-through. That should do fine. So, yeah, this is, this is looking pretty good. I like this. If I had to do it again, I think I would do the same thing. I like the way that looks. It looks real camp-like. So, let's see. Got a door on that side for the patio. And... I was gonna do it a little bit closer. Yeah, I might, let me do that. I don't want it in the middle. Like I said, I want it offset. The bed really needs to uh, to move too. So I think right here would be good for the entrance. Is that even near the entrance below? I want it to be offset to that too. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's offset enough. I don't know, we'll go down and check it out later, but right now, I need to move this puppy. I'm just gonna do this in the middle of the floor here. And I'll sleep to make it daytime. I don't know if anybody's on the server. Nope, should be fine. But it's just mainly to set my home spot. There we go. Now to do, let's see. The ceiling either, I don't know. I might do a pattern on that. I might actually open it up a little bit too and just go for the vaulting. Uh, actually, the second story seems pretty appealing to me as well. Let's go with... Let's go with messing around with a patio idea. Okay. So, not a patio, um, a balcony, like a porch. So, we will do birch, I believe, since we got plenty of birch wood. And let's see. I don't think I want it to stretch the entire length either. I think I want it, let's see, what are we right now? That's four, five, six, seven. Let's do eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 looks good. And we'll go out, what do y'all think? Three, three or four, because I'll need to do one of the, the spaces is going to be devoted to railing. And... Hmm. If we do it one more... Yeah, let's go one more out. Actually, I'm going to need to border it, I believe, too. Yeah, I will. If I want it to be uniform with the rest of the deal, I'm going to have to border it. So, yeah, we'll border it. We need dark wood for that. 
and we'll need to come from underneath anyway. Let's see, do we have any dark logs left? Was that it? Nope, that's regular wood. Hmm. Might be out of luck, you guys. I might need to make another log run. Looks like we will, yep. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to make another log run. Oh, you know what? Do I have any bone meal? If I have any bone meal, I'll just do what I've been doing in the front yard right here. Let's see. No bones or bone meal. No bones, no bone meal. Hmm. That is disheartening. I need a few bones. I know we have a skeleton spawner too. I guess, you know what? Let's take a trip down there. I'm gonna take a trip down there and go grab some bones. And I think I remember where it is. Actually, you know what? I don't think I have a clue. I know where it is. <laughs> I think there's a warp command for it. Let's see, warp. Let's see what warp tells us. Uh, we got blaze forms, we got arrow forms. Ooh, arrow form, okay. That has to be skeleton, okay. So let's see, warp, A-R-R-O-W-F-A-R-M. Oh, I love these server commands. Love them, love them, love them. Okay, let's see if anybody collected bones yet. Oh yeah, there's plenty. <laughs> That'll do. I helped make this sucker, so I feel pretty good about keeping it. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take them all. Yeah, that's okay. And the lights are on anyway, the spawner's turned off, so that's cool. Now, let's warp home. Beautiful, okay. <laughs> now I can use those saplings that I got earlier. Or did I plant all of those too? I'm so disorganized, you guys. Let's see, nope, that's regular wood. I knew I had some. When I get my storage in line, it's going to be so great. Okay, I do not see any... Ah, uh, seven. Good, 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 good. That's not a jungle tree, is it? It better not be a jungle tree. I think that's a pine. And let's see, bone meal, bam. Alright, let's see what happens. Please don't spawn a jungle tree. Please. Ah, uh, it's a jungle tree. Somehow I knew that. Somehow I just knew it. Okay. Let's get a couple of saplings. I don't show y'all all any resource uh, gathering, so this should be okay. Let's go out the back. And I'm just gonna go back there to where I replanted all those pines. And grab a few saplings. Then I shouldn't have any problem with wood if I replant like that now that I have some bone meal. I shouldn't be using that stone axe just to grab wood either. Since I'm here, I may as well harvest a few more. saplings as they fall down. That way I can just replant in my own yard and do a few at a time, you know. Let's see how many saplings is that? Seven? Perfect. Let's replant a few of them just so this area doesn't look so desolate. I'll do one right there, one right there, and one right there. Cool. And I recouped a couple of them. Four should be fine. And I could just revisit that anytime I want. Let's see, I know I replanted those, but alright. I'm good. I need to make a little bridge onto this back section too, but I should be pretty self-sufficient real soon. Okay. This is supposed to be a fishing pier, by the way. Just haven't completed it yet. I'm kinda all over the place. Alright. Let's plant a couple of trees. now and I got all this dark wood 
28. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I doubt it. Okay. Huh. Nope. Huh. Nope. Huh. Nope. A little bit too high, I believe. Yeah, a little bit too high. Where's my dirt when I need it? There. That should be perfect. That might drive me bonkers too. Maybe. I don't know. Now I can be on top of this. Let's do... I think I like it better offset. I think that's a, a good look. A little bit offset for the corner. Should have actually did one more, I think. Yeah, watch this. This is always fun. Oh no. My entire framework for the house. <laughs> Oops. Guess I got some more, uh, guess I got some more log work to do. <laughs> Phew, I think I more or less got everything, guys. Maybe except for this little bottom post here. But that was some kind of ordeal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I still got dirt lying all over the place like for scaffolding and stuff to get around to all of the various areas that I needed to repair. I dropped my whole framework with that one axe swipe. <laughs> and I know better, yeah, I actually like the mod a lot. I, uh, I just, I was careless with that stone axe. I really need to take it out only when I'm harvesting, which would be the smart thing to do, but... All in all, we got it fixed. It's done. So, now I just need to get back to the little balcony and see how I want to do that. Let's see here. I think I pretty much got all of the... Uh, I may have missed some of that. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I hollowed it out. I'm sure they don't have anything right here too. I'll tell you what, let's take that axe out of there. <laughs> Pull this birch wood out of here so I can reinsert this. The only bad thing about that is I lost some wood, but oh well. It's okay. Now let's put some birch back in. now I'm a little bit less scared <laughs> and I'm gonna need a few more logs it looks like what I need to do is just go down and plant just a couple more there we go and I could do one right here too That one won't plant. Oh well. I don't need a whole bunch more. Not just to finish this off. Let's go ahead and cut that one down. That one down. Grab the saplings. Plant one. Oh, I hate when I do that. Now I need to cut my grass. <laughs> it's like yard work around here. Okay. Here we go. Looks like these will be the last that I have to mess with it. Except for the pillars that come up. And I'll use fence for these handrails. There. 
and see if anybody's knocking or what's going on, you know, if anybody comes to visit me. And yeah, it looks like I'm gonna need some pillars right there, which that'll involve a little bit more trees. that even though there's leaves yep sure can get this dangerous axe out again <laughs> there we go and I'll just do one more perfect saplings again and now I can take this wood and just come up with it like that bam there we go you guys yeah I'm pretty happy with that it's really starting to look like a camp <laughs> After, after my own demolition work. Now I can put a big bay window right there, I believe, and maybe some small windows over here. But that'll have to wait till we get back. We're out of time. So until next time, you guys, this is Zuljin signing off for Breeze Madhouse, and have a good one.